Welcome once again. In this session, we're doing Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. Stick around to the end because I'm going to define what dead works means. Therefore, leaving the teaching of the first principles of Christ, let's press on to perfection. Wow, press on to perfection. Not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works, of faith toward God, of the teaching of baptisms, of laying on of hands, of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. This will we do if God permits. So this list makes up the foundation of the faith. Every one of us ought to know these things inside and out. Notice here, the first thing it says is repentance from dead works. So what are dead works? Another way of saying it is works of death. And these works is what we should repent of. Now, obviously, we're not talking about obedience to God's laws here because when God forbid we repent from doing what God says. But Paul defines what these works of death are in Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. Paul says, now the deeds of the flesh. A lot of other translations says works of the flesh. Deeds, works, same difference. Now the deeds or works of the flesh are obvious, which are adultery, sexual immorality, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. Don't forget that Paul here is talking to the church. He's not talking to the world. He's not talking to the so-called sinners. He's talking to the people of the church of Galatia. Okay? He's warning them, if you do anything like these things, anything like this, I mean, we better stay far from any of those, even hints of any of those kind of things. Because Paul says, if we do any of that stuff, we will not inherit God's kingdom. I want you to understand as well that all of these things are from the Torah. All of these things are from God's law as we read in the so-called Old Testament. Paul just didn't pull these things out of a hat. These things were well defined as sin long before Paul was even born. But let's read on in that same passage because it gives a juxtaposition to the works of the flesh. Verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Notice Paul said, against such things there is no law. In other words, if you produce the fruit of the Spirit, you are obeying God's law. You are obeying God's Torah. So let's think about this for a second. Verse 19 to 21 talks about the works of the flesh. Verse 22 to 23 talks about the fruit of the Spirit. The works of the flesh, the fruit of the Spirit. Works versus fruit. Deeds versus fruit, okay? So the works of death, the dead works are the works that break God's law. And that makes total sense because you break the Torah, you get death, okay? Dead works, works of death are the works of the flesh as Paul defined. So back to Hebrews chapter six, where it says the foundation of the faith is number one, repentance of dead works. You need to repent from those works. In other words, don't do them again. It's not talking about just feeling sorry. It's talking about not doing it again. Repentance is 
a 180 turn, okay? Turning 180 degrees and going in the opposite direction. That's true repentance. Very simply stated, to repent of dead works is to repent of violating the Torah. Repent of violating or breaking God's law. And if you repent of that, and if you get born again, then you can bear the fruit of the Spirit, which is actually obedience to God's law. And that's why Paul said that against such things, there is no law. The Torah is not against any of these things because you're actually obeying it. Makes sense, right? Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.